we're going to take a look at that clip now anyway so people can have a, have a look at it hey just uh, talk about this song i'll play your mic but i'm gonna give you more that's a lot they can you make more. give me a bunch more yeah, motherfucker you want, uh, to, you want us to talk you better make another trip for that fucking truck i know you got more hit out there so go fetch some more because this is the last interview you'll have with me why is that because it will be You can tell there there's a little bit of, uh, is it guilt or is it like I've been found out? Like what, that, was, that the, right. was that the, can, was that the first time he paid you? I'm, I'm sorry. I keep cutting. I keep interrupting this stupid damn phone's cutting out on me. It's okay. Was that the first time that he paid you? Oh, hell no. I mean, he paid me pretty much, pretty much every time. Now, well, I can't say every time that's a definitive. But I would say at least 90 to 95 percent of the times when I would meet with him, well, because that was in my house. That was, you know, he I've got at least at least one more video in my house of him handing me. Well, the picture that you'll be able to you'll show here in a second. That's a different yeah. time. As you can see, he's wearing a different shirt and everything. So I've got at least one more video in my house right there. That's there as you is. see, that's Eric Good. Now, I've got his face covered up there because I didn't want anybody to be able to use it. But now that that's now I don't give a shit. So that's another video. I took a screenshot off of that video just to use that picture. That's another time when he came in and handed me, and you can see that big ass wad of cash again. Now, when I was in Oklahoma in June of 2020, right before they shut me down and stole all my animals and everything, you know, he paid me a big bunch of money then. Then when I was on the run from the law or whatever, he met me over on the East Coast, over in North Carolina, South Carolina, somewhere like that, and he paid, handed me a big wad of cash again. You know, every time I was around him, I made sure he handed me money. If, hell, if he's going to give it out, I was going to take it. You know, and so he did that every lousy stinking time. And yeah. like I said, I'm it was just to make you feel like you – needed to perform for him so you could damn you know because he would make you oh well, let's do that again let's go through that and say that again but say this in there tim you know do this and do that i'll guarantee if you talk to doc if you talk to jeff if you talk to james garrison any rinky anybody that's in tiger king he would tell you what to say and how to say it and then if it didn't get right you know then he would fucking go through it again it's no different than in tiger king where like doc Annell became the producer and you know they set it up to where oh you come around to the house and i'll you know greet you hey how you doing blah 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 blah. it's all a setup that's not a fucking documentary that's entertainment you know yeah and the last time i actually looked on netflix i may be wrong about this but here it's been i don't know it's been quite a while but when i went on netflix and I pulled up documentaries. Guess what's not under documentaries on Netflix? Tiger oh, King. Gone. It's it, I couldn't find it under documentaries. It was under just regular movie or you know series movies and all that kind of shit. It wasn't under documentaries. They've got their own category of documentaries. It's not on there. I don't even think Netflix recognizes it as a fucking documentary. It was entertainment. He was paying everybody. He was getting it. And like I said, we can prove now 100%. I'm not the type of person, just like I told everybody, I've got the video. Now you're fucking seeing them. It's been two years because I, I haven't been right here. They've screwed me up so damn bad. They ruined my damn life. The My entire life, when Eric Good, what he did to me, when he approached if you watch Tiger, when you watch Tiger King 2, the two episodes, episode four and five, the ones that I'm in, especially number five, you know, he didn't even produce any of that shit. Doug Abel, his editor, he used to be an editor. If you watch all of Tiger King 1, go to the credits, all seven episodes. Then if you go to Tiger King 2, episode one, two, and three, Doug Abel is listed as an editor. And that's it. That's all he's ever fucking been in his life, in his professional career, is an editor. But then when you look at the credits on episode four and five, he's listed down as a producer also. And that's because he was living right across the river from me. 
I actually can remember him coming out and interviewing me one time. Eric couldn't come out, so he sent him. I didn't know who he was. Eric was sending somebody out. They brought me some money. I didn't give a shit, you know. And but they're animal rights activists from the, I mean, hardcore, you know. So they set me up. And when you watch those episodes, I'm pissed off. I'm irate. But they rushed. The Indiana Attorney General didn't file suit against me until February of 2020. They had already had it all scripted out. Because when Eric Good confronted like fat-ass Shea McAllister from WHS 11 News Channel there in Louisville, Kentucky, you know, hell, Tiger King just come out. And it was the number one Netflix series of all time. And he's given them the opportunity to be a star in Tiger King 2. Then he also went to the attorney general, that camel toe wearing Elvis impersonator. You know, that <laughs> you know, what piece of shit. You know, where, what the fuck, what the fuck did Im imitating Elvis have anything to do with the law, with my case, with anything going on about me? It was all about exploiting so they could get on TV. That's all it was about. And then they used all of that and they pushed it so hard. Like I said, everybody, all the attorney general, USDA, PETA, they all violated every constitutional right I have. They have also broke the law repeatedly. And I've got 100% proof of that because they literally manufactured evidence, false evidence to use against me in court. And that's how they got me shut down. And I can show anybody. I wish like hell I would get a law firm that wasn't scared of my attitude or my mouth. You know, a lot of that's gone. Like I said, I'm on different medication now. You know, they destroyed me. I don't give a fuck about the money. I don't give a shit about anything else. You know, like my main concern right now is my was my animals. That's always been my concern. When they took all of my animals, what a lot of people don't understand, on September 11th, when it starts, September 11th of 2020, when they started removing animals from my property, they were supposedly taking them to the Indianapolis Zoo, which was just a, right at two hours north of me. But they were scattering them all over the fucking country, which was illegal because it was an Indiana fucking state. It wasn't a federal case. It was a state case. They had no yeah. right shipping evidence, which is what that was, out of the jurisdiction of the courts. And then we had, we had confirmation by the time they left my house and got to the Indiana Zoo, they already had animals dead. And now to this point here, the reason it fucking tears me apart every fucking day is because I see and hear all this shit. They just posted, I guess it was last month, another one of my fucking tigers died. You know, I've got confirmation that I've, about 30% of the animals they took off my property are fucking dead. But yet these are supposed to be the animal saviors, the rescuer, the experts, and all that kind of shit. And, you know, like I said, a lot of people have no clue what I went through. You know, Joe Exotic at Flaming Fag, excuse me, but I'll, get, I'll probably get nailed for that one, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> but, you know, that's Joe. That's all I've ever called him. Me and Joe were good friends. But the one thing about Joe is even to this day, Joe Exotic will not admit to anything wrong. According to Joe, he is innocent of everything. And sorry, Joe, I know you, you little bastard. You know, I know shit you did. I seen videos. I seen it for my fucking self. So I know you were an animal killing, you know, shit. If the bestiality shit's true, you know, Matt Bryant supposedly has that video. Jeez. Why they didn't use that against Joe the only reason they didn't use it against Joe is because it also involved John Finley. 